What's going on guys? My name is Jason. Welcome to Dream Inspired. And first off, I have already had my coffee. It's 6 a.m. and I am hyped up right now with you guys. It's Monday morning, September 30th, and I am ready to get going. What we're gonna be talking about in this video is why I left the Hopper Bottom business, which is why you see a few slides going by. This is just some of my experiences in the industry there, and I'm gonna tell you guys about that and answer that question for you. Before we get into the video, however, I do wanna tell you that we're going to be doing at least 33 straight videos here on the channel over the next 31 days. It's gonna be yesterday's video, today's video, and then the full month of October, we're gonna be pumping out one video a day at least one a day and guys i'm super excited about that i also want to tell you that we're going to be doing a free giveaway at every 1000 subscribers here on the channel all you have to do to enter to win is be subscribed on the channel like and comment on this video and guys the more videos you like and comment on the more chances you have to win a prize at 15,000 subscribers, which we're just about to hit. I, I anticipate that happening over the next few days. Uh, we're gonna be giving away a free power inverter to the winner. Um, I'm super excited about this, guys, but let's go ahead and let's knock this off. Let's get into the video. Let me tell you about why I left the Hopper Bottom business. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, another amazing video. I'm coming to you right here right now let's do it guys count them down with me one two three it's video time all right guys so the big question here today is what happened to the grain hauling industry what happened why am i not involved with it is there something wrong with the industry did things not go well with the broker did i break down did i break something what's going on why am i not doing dry bulk hauling so if you remember back a few months ago, I actually got into a really, really, really nice 5500, put a beautiful sleeper on it, met a gentleman out on the road who actually talked me into uh, getting rid of that truck and getting into this beautiful semi and getting out on the road doing dry bulk hauling. And because I know that not everyone is gonna understand the terms bulk hauling or bulk transport or hopper bottom trailer, uh, guys, I'm gonna leave some links for you down below uh, so you can do a little bit of research because I know you're gonna have a few questions and I don't wanna use up too much time in this video answering some of the stuff uh, that you guys can check out there. So the reason why I got out of the industry, um, this reason does not go too much into the industry in general, guys. This is a very big and thriving industry. You can definitely make a lot of money, but things did not work out with the broker that I originally got set up with. Unfortunately, guys, I will not be naming who I was working for or what company they represent because I'm not looking to be pulled into a legal dispute over defamation of character. Why? Because I did not have the best time with this specific broker. In total here, I devoted 18 days uh, between July 30th and August 16th to working with him. After I picked up the trailer, that's when things were explained to me on what the price of the trailer was going to be, which I was originally under the assumption that it would be somewhere in the $200 a week range, and it turned out to actually be $300 a week. And on top of that, there was also a $25 fee just to get paid every week. So the two paychecks that I did get, I lost $600 just on the trailer and $50 just on getting paid. The other hidden expense that I did not know about was something called a washout. Now these washouts usually cost around 40 to 50, maybe even upwards of $75. In this case, I had to get two separate washouts from two different loads, and they were $50 a piece. With the company expenses being $300 a week for the trailer and $25 a week just to get paid, then adding on two washouts, I'm at a grand total of $750 over the course of the two weeks that I was actually able to get paid from this company. Now you guys know me, I'm not one to shy away from the fact that you have to spend money to make money. I am okay with making investments and making sacrifices here, but things kind of crossed the line a little bit when they weren't able to keep money in my pocket or to keep my wheels turning. Like I said, I worked for this gentleman for 18 days. And in that 18 days, I did almost two full weeks of on the road working. That's from pickup of my very first job to when I dropped off my trailer after my last job. 
In this time, I did three separate loads for them, bringing me a total invoice of $5,967. Now, we do have to take off the $650 for the trailer and to get paid, and then we had the two washouts, so we're at $750. And come to think of it, guys, I was supposed to be reimbursed for the washouts as well, which that didn't happen, and that kind of that kind of added a little bit of fuel to the fire here. So with $5,217 at this point, at the end of this 18 day period, that's where I decided, guys, I am not dealing with this anymore. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care if I close down my company at this point. I refuse to keep going with this gentleman who was giving me nothing but trouble. In this time working for him, I actually became really good friends with four other people that he was dispatching for. And we were all having the same exact trouble with him. We were constantly told that there were no loads out on the load boards, that there was nothing out there for us, that all we had to do was get from this place over to this place, and this place is where all the loads were. And during that time, during two separate phone calls that I had with him, he was on his way to the gym or already at the gym working out instead of trying to find us loads and doing that extra little bit to keep us all running. With my total loaded miles being at 5,896 and my total invoice, my total paycheck here being 5,217, of course, after the company gets their cut, my, <laughs> guys, this is, this is, this is how crazy this is, guys. My total pay, cents per mile, is 88 cents is what I made during this two to three week period. Just for the little giggles here, guys, if you want to talk about the actual employed miles being 4,234 uh, toward what we were paid, that's actually $1.23 a mile. So, you know, like, like, I can I can I can try and make this sound as good as possible, but honestly, even at a dollar twenty-three a mile for the course of uh, three weeks on the road, guys, it it just didn't work out the way that any of us had hoped it would. My fuel cost, my fuel cost, guys, it's three thousand one hundred and thirty-eight dollars over this course of eighteen days. Just taking that off the top there, guys, puts me at $2,079. And at this point, I haven't even taken out food costs, tolls, tools that I had to buy. I, I, I was a little low on coolant and I had to buy coolant for the truck. I needed a light bulb because the light went out. My CB antenna uh, broke off because I had to get really close to a tree and it ripped my CB antenna off. So I had to get a brand new one of those. Now for me, what I like to do with my business is pay my driver, whether that be me or anybody else, I like to pay 25%. Now if I take out 25% off of that top $5,967, which I actually invoiced here, that's $1,491.75 over the course of that two weeks. Now I can sit here and say that I was the one who had the worst situation, that I had the worst time here working with this gentleman, but honestly we had six other people working here and although a lot of them started off very well, it grew to be this really big headache for all of us and we've all since moved on and I believe five of them are still working in the grain hauling business, uh, although I haven't talked to all of them in the past few days. Moral of the story here, guys, don't think that the agriculture or grain hauling business is a bad area to go to. But unfortunately, unless you own your own hopper bottom trailer or you own your own tanker trailer, guys, um, I don't recommend going out and leasing on with somebody that is going to put you into theirs unless they are a large company. Now, if you're looking to get into this industry, I do have a few companies that I can recommend. Down below, you're gonna find a link for Oakley. Oakley is a very big company and they do a lot of work all over the country. A lot of the stuff that they do is regional. So if you wanna stay in the Midwest or you wanna stay in the Southeast or the Northeast, uh, you wanna stay in the California area, they do have a lot of work all over the country and they do have the ability to possibly get you home every other night or maybe even every weekend, depending on what you're looking for. Now, I'm not a recruiter for Oakley. 
but I will tell you that they do require that you have at least one year over the road CDL semi truck driving. So if you're coming out of the hotshot industry like me, they will not take that uh, as, as, as experience in driving over the road. So this is my downfall here, of course, because although I've got a year in with my CDL, I've been driving on and off for a year. Depends on how much of my YouTube channel you want to watch. Um, I can't go work for Oakley at the moment, although I am in talks with them and possibly looking to do business with them in the future. At the end of the day, guys, things just didn't work out for me. Um, but I was able to find another way to make money and that's why I'm very proud to tell you guys that I've been doing power only loads for the past few weeks, uh, actually the past about a month and a half. And in that time, I have, I've made a lot more uh, doing power only loads than I did with the grain hauling. Um, but like I said at the beginning, guys, this is not a shot at the agriculture or grain hauling business. This is not, this is nothing against the bulk, uh, the bulk industry, guys. You can definitely make a lot of money. I'm just making a lot more money elsewhere, uh, and we'll go into that in later video. Before I go, guys, do not forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below so you can be entered to win a free power inverter for your truck. I've noticed that a lot of guys out there do not have these, especially my hotshot guys. A lot of you don't have them set up in your truck, whether that's 750, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, whatever the wattage is, guys, get yourselves set up with one. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below, and you're automatically entered to win. Of course, the more videos that you like and comment on, the better your chances are. With that said, my name is Jason, this is Dream Inspired, and I will, as always, see you on the next one. See you guys later. Have a good day. Hey guys, did you like that video? If you did, go ahead, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more great content just like this. As for you, I hope you drive safe out there on the roads. My name is Jason, and this has been My Hot Shot Life, and I will, as always, see you on the next one.